to the Kanye OT Show! Hi, I'm back and today we are adapting books and just making them more interactive and enjoyable. Um, I have found three books around my house and I was like, you know what, what can I do to make these books a little bit more fun for our kids to read. So with this first book, I followed the theme, The Little Gingerbread Man. I made this do-it-yourself um, reading pointer. So when they're reading, once upon a time, you can know they can follow along with the gingerbread. I kind of like it because it's kind of neat that the gingerbread kind of follows along in the story. Um, if they wanted to move the gingerbread man, you know, in the story after they've read it, by all means, have more fun. And it's just kind of a cute addition to the story, uh, as, as well as keeping them on track. And of course I just added, um, Velcro to the back. I found a picture of a gingerbread man, and I just used a strip of construction paper, laminated it, put, I put Velcro on it, um, so you won't misplace it. So with this book, Hello Red Fox, I used a laminate sheet, um, as an overlay on the pages. So after reading the passage, you can actually draw all over the page and not worry about getting into trouble. So let's say we read about the fox, put the overlay over the page. You can have them point out the ears, circle the eyes, this is the nose, um, maybe draw on some teeth, where's the fox's tail, maybe make it more bushy. And it's so easy because I just used dry erase marker and you just wipe it off and let's just say on this page you wanted them to draw everything that's green you wanted to draw a green apple I only had a black marker but of course use different colored markers uh, maybe like peas are green so I like this because you know what kids want to write in the book and it's not fun when it doesn't erase so have fun with this one you can also use this overlay as a drawing activity. Um, let's say this frog has spots, so maybe your student would put spots on it. And then you know what else he had? He had a huge smile on his face. They get to draw a face, and he stuck his tongue out. And then you know what else he had? He had a hat. Maybe a birthday hat. Maybe it was his birthday, and you can draw him a cake. Okay, this is this is a cake. And you know what? He also had presents. I just like this. It's just so much better than drawing all over a book and then, you know, the whole thing's damaged. And then it's kind of cool. Let's see if we can put it on different other animals. least in this book in Ocean Adventure I found the main character which is this fish um, I printed one out and I laminated it and what's so cool about this activity is that you can move the fish around in the story um, so it's not just reading the story the kid could actually reenact what they read in the story turning the page interacting with other characters in the story um, you know, maybe this fish talk to the jellyfish, or maybe can you put the fish next to the seahorse? You can also use it for so many different various things. Well, that sums up this segment of adapting books. There's more to come, like I said. It's not expensive to make these books and activities more enjoyable for our kids. So I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned for the next episode. See you next time.